हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सोशो कल्चरल एनवायरमेंट सो लेट स्टडी वॉट इज सोशो कल्चरल एनवायरमेंट सोशो कल्चरल एनवायरमेंट रेफर्स टू द इमीडिएट फिजिकल एंड सोशल सेटिंग इन विच पीपल लिव और इन विच समथिंग हैपन्स और डेवलप्स इट इंक्लूड्स द कल्चर दैट द इंडिविजुअल वॉज एजुकेटेड or lives in and the people and the institution with whom they interact so basically socio cultural environment it consists of caste class family education occupation structure religious institutions like temples churches mosque etc now and culture it includes customs traditions beliefs values language festival habits etc so all these things they vary from one place to another place from one region to another from one part of the country to another part of country so when you are doing business it is very important to understand the socio cultural environment around you because the socio cultural environment can provide certain opportunities and threats for your business now for example when it comes to india in india there are different seasons there are different festivals so accordingly the taste the needs and demands of the people differ like for example during marriage season people prefer to purchase new clothes okay ornaments utensils sarees so all these businesses have got peak demand during the season but when it comes to western culture marriage is just a simple ceremony which is done in church so the requirements of people in india will be different and the people of other country will be different so it is very important to understand the socio cultural environment around you now see during festivals like diwali or eid people going for shopping so that gives a good demand for business in ready mates like dresses okay then utensils gold okay all this have a greater demand during festival season and during off season all the demand is low so business has to plan its production and distribution policies keeping in mind socio cultural environment of the nation if you ignore this aspect then it will be very difficult for a business organization to sell goods and services and earn good amount of profit okay so let us study the characteristics of socio cultural environment in the sense what influences a person's socio cultural upbringing first is home environment now when i say home environment it depends upon whether an individual is coming from a joint family or from a nuclear family because when it comes to joint family the needs wants and requirements of an individual are completely different joint family basically have got traditional upbringing so traditional values they give importance lot lot of importance to the traditions so their requirements will be traditional in nature they will celebrate all the festivals properly all the family functions will be done in a grand manner so their requirements are different now when it comes to nuclear families their their upbringing is little modern in nature right and the people who live in family is less the number of people in family will be less so the goods and services required by such families will be less so this is very important nowadays in india uh, the system of home is shifting from joint family to nuclear family so accordingly the needs and requirements of the people are changing so business organization has to keep this thing in mind and design its goods and services in such manner so earlier people used to purchase goods in large quantities especially when it comes to grains and vegetables they used to purchase in large quantities because lot of people were staying in one family but now due to nuclear family fashion 
what they are doing is you can see goods and services are available in small quantities now when it comes to oil you can buy a big tin of oil or oil is available in packets also for nuclear families so like this business has to design its goods and services to meet the requirements of the society next is gender now see obviously female population has got different wants and demands and when it comes to male population they have got different set of wants and demands now female population they will spend more on clothing on self grooming products like lipsticks makeup and so on and when it comes to boys they will spend more money on clothes and slowly the market is changing even for male population in terms of self grooming products like deodorants face wash uh, face creams so on so like this even gender plays an important role if there is lot of male population in a particular country then the goods and services required by male population like gadgets bikes and so on have to be produced more but if the population of females is more in a particular area then goods and services according to the needs of female population has to be produced so even gender plays an important role because every gender has got their different wants right next is language now again language or the religion which a particular individual belongs to even that plays an important role because everyone has every religion or language has their own beliefs see some people eat non veg some people don't eat non veg some traditions they uh, in some families they don't like wearing western clothes or western outfits so they prefer only traditional wear so like this language also plays an important role as to what kind of goods and services will be consumed nowadays people are becoming more and more western so their wants are changing right so even that plays an important role in determining what kind of goods and services will be required in that particular country next is ethnic background now ethnic background is nothing but whether you stay in rural area or in urban areas now urban areas or this metro cities they have got different taste for clothing or for buying goods and services they like to purchase more from malls okay from big showrooms and they prefer more western clothes rather than indian or traditional clothes when it comes to semi urban areas so their choice will be little modern and little traditional when it comes to rural areas their choice will be that of villages or it will be more of traditional nature so like this even ethnic background plays an important role in determining what kind of goods and services will be preferred by the individual of that particular country so like this socio cultural environment also plays an important role or is an important factor which determines the functioning of the business as to what kind of goods and services should be produced by a particular business organization so that it can meet meet the needs of its customers in a better manner so with this i conclude my discussion for module 3 thank you